The most inspiring thing to me has always been nature. I feel the happiest when I'm amongst the trees in the fresh air, and it's easy for me to never get bored with painting landscapes, because it's always a new experience with every painting, and there's always a new place to explore or a new angle to see things from. The possibilities are just endless. I've been working on a bunch of tiny landscapes inspired by my nature adventures in the mountains. Creating art inspired by my own life experiences is far more interesting to me than just looking for pictures to paint on the internet. I have to feel connected to my work and it has to compel and intrigue me. Sometimes I don't fully understand what it means until later on, but it's much easier to stay focused and create in larger quantities when you're working on art that's true to yourself by painting things that interest you and fill you with excitement. I feel really grateful to be alive and to have the chance to explore these magical places, to be inspired by them, and to paint them. To some people, it might look like I'm wasting my life away, just sitting there, painting, but I feel like there's not enough time and I'll never get to paint everything I want to or every idea I have. There's just not enough time and it's physically impossible. So to me, it's like I'm I'm slacking, I'm not wasting time, I'm, just, I'm not getting enough done, but I'm thankful for the time that I do have and that I get to share it with so many artists and amazingly kind people who watch my videos and follow my art. It's a beautiful day. It feels so weird doing this in my neighborhood. <laughs> I'm headed to the post office to drop off your orders. These are all going to be in your houses and on your walls and wherever you want to stick them because there's stickers in there too. I'm literally bringing them to you on foot. It's just been unbearably hot and finally it's just such a nice cool breeze and the sun is shining and you're not burning. You don't feel like you're cooking on a frying pan as you're walking outside. <laughs> It's beautiful. Sorry, buddy. Life didn't work out for you. I'm in a grassy field. I'm headed home, dropped off my babies, which are now your babies, or I don't know how that works, but they're my babies that came from my brain. <laughs> my brain babies, brain children. All those bees, so cute. <gasps> Is that a dandelion? I haven't seen those in so long. They don't really grow here. I left at a perfect time because it's getting hot again. People probably think I'm crazy right now, but who cares what people think, you know? It's fine if I look like a crazy hobo. And I say hobo because I have paint on my legs. And here we have the contrast. Desert grass. That gets watered by fountains. This doesn't. <laughs> This gets rain once every now and then. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me into the woods and watching my little landscapes come to life. There's a ton of new original art that just got added to my art store, including all the paintings you saw in this video. And I have another water series sticker pack available. They are printed with archival inks on vinyl, so you get a really bright, high quality image. And since it's vinyl, it's also resistant to water, and it also won't rip like a paper sticker. And as a thank you, I'm adding an extra sticker along with all your orders. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Oh,